Civil Engineering Academy. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Civil Engineering Academy. Today we are solving a problem from Geotech. It says a soil sample weighs 3.65 pounds and has a volume of 0.03 cubic feet. Specific gravity of the soil solids is 2.65. Water is added to the soil until it bleeds out. The added water has a volume of 5.8 fluid ounces. The dry unit weight of the original sample is most nearly what? So what we are trying to solve for is gamma dry. And if you're using the civil engineering reference manual, I'm gonna be pulling equations from the table, table 35.7 in the addition that I'm using. So we are, our goal is to find gamma dry and in that table it basically says that gamma dry is equal to gamma sat saturated over one plus water content. So what we need to do is solve for each of these variables. First thing we can do is we can get what gamma of the soil sample is this is just a, a moist unit weight as we pulled it out. So this is the weight was given as 3.65 pounds. Divide that by 0 0.03 cubic feet. And that gives me 121.67 pounds per cubic foot. Okay, the next thing I'm going to look at is I'm going to try to get gamma sat saturated so we add they added water until this thing bleeds out that means there's no air in there so this thing is completely saturated so what we're going to do is we're going to take the 5.8 fluid ounces let's just do that over here 5.8 fluid ounces if you convert that that's going to equal zero point 3625 pounds. 5.8 ounces is 3.3625 pounds. It's important that you convert it to a weight so we can solve for this. If you did it by volume, um, I'm not sure how you do that. I did it by weight. So we take the original soil sample and we add the water, 3625, divide that by the volume, and that gives us a gamma sat of 133.75. Okay, now we know that. If we go to the table, there's another equation for gamma sat that basically says that it equals the unit weight of water times one plus the water content, all divided by the water content plus one times one over specific gravity. Okay, and what we need to do is algebraically change this so that we can get the water content. And if you do that, you're gonna get an equation that looks similar to this. Water content is equal to gamma sat divided by specific gravity um, minus the density of water. I'll put water divided, the whole thing divided by the density of water minus gamma sat, saturated density. Okay, just plug everything in and we'll solve for our uh, water content. And so we got gamma sat is 133.75 divided by 2.65 that was given minus 62.4 divide that by 62.4 minus 133.75 and what do you get I get 0 0.17 I'll round up now all we need to do is plug it into this original equation to get our dry density, which is going to be gamma sat over one plus water content. So that was 133.75 divided by 
1 plus 0 0.17 and I get an answer of 114 pounds per cubic foot. Answer I show is C on this one. So I hope that helped you out. These ones can be pretty confusing. Normally you would draw out some sort of soil sample like this and we would talk about the air and this would be the water and this would be soil and we would figure out the volume and the weight and we would uh, figure out these totals but this one we were able to solve uh, more in terms of just looking at the equations in this table and we could figure out what gamma dry was normally you would break it down figure out each volume, figure out each weight, and get the values that you need. But we did it this way. So I hope that helped you out. If you have any problems or troubles, let me know in the comments, and we will solve them for you. Otherwise, head to civilengineeringacademy.com for more tips and tricks related to the PE. Thanks, bye.